Welcome to the Champion Breakdown, where we highlight the gold nuggets, the tips and tricks to help you become the best version of yourself in your journey to becoming a champion. Welcome to the Champion Breakdown. Oh my gosh, you guys, we just had the most amazing interview with Caroline Buchanan and she blew our minds. We can't wait to give you our eight big takeaways. I mean, honestly, there was more than that, but this is what we want to break down for you. We found these eight really beneficial tips that she gave us. And number one, I I love this. I, To be honest with you, I feel a little embarrassed that we're called the Champion Podcast and we didn't even know about the Champion Creed, but that's okay because it's going to be our new motto. So here it is, you guys, the Champion Creed. I am a champion. I believe in myself. I have the will to win. I set high goals for myself. I surround myself with winners. I'm cool, positive, and confident. I'm willing to pay the price of success. I love the struggle and the competition. I am relaxed and in control at all times. I focus all my energy on the job at hand. I take responsibility for all of my results. I have the courage to endure and persist. I vividly imagine what victory will feel like. I am a champion and I will win. And so she was given this from by her dad and she kept it in her back pocket. She had it up on her wall. She, she read it to herself all the time. You guys, I am going to buy this poster or make it or whatever. And I'm going to put it on our mirror in my kid's wall and To be honest, I'm going to put it in my mirror in my room too. I love it. Me too. I'm going to put it in my car. I'm going to, yeah, it's, we're going all out with this. Thank you, Carolyn Buchanan. (laughs) (laughs) Number two, I love how she talked about building resiliency through the trials. Um, They're really what make you. And uh, I love how she talked about when everything was stripped from her, um, instead of like when their house burnt down, she's like, but we have our bikes <laughs> and we went on. And when her brother, like, you know, he's had the life changing injury of, um, never being able to ride again with his breaking his neck. She, uh, just decided to use it to fuel her. She didn't say it in this podcast, but I've heard her say, I'll ride for the both of us. And that's what she did. Like, Hard things can really shape you. Number three, how she has such a long, amazing career is doing more than one sport. And I have heard this over and over, you guys, and I can see how easy it is to get sucked into just doing one sport. But it is so important to continue doing more than one sport, especially when you're young, especially when you can fit it in. Just find something else if you're only doing one thing right now. And you don't have to love it like the main sport that you're doing, but just doing something else. But I loved that tip. That was amazing. Mm-hmm. Number four, her success pyramid. So she talked about after every big competition, uh, putting the things that worked inside the pyramid and putting the things that didn't work outside. So she was basically like we're doing now, breaking down her her comp and learning from it and and moving forward number five i love this one the five second rule she um wasn't saying it specifically like from this book but if you guys have not read mel robbins book the five second rule it's exactly what she's saying there's actual science behind it it's how she moves through fear it's how she deals with fear but taking those five seconds where you get to decide if you're going to go for the thing that probably is caused that could potentially hold you back and you're just saying five four three two one and you're doing it. And she has an amazing affirmation that she says in those five seconds. And I just thought that that was a really great tip for all of us to be able to implement. Number six, the vision board. Go listen in detail the way she talks about a vision board. Go scroll through her social media. She says she put images up of what her vision board looks like. But this, she started when she was really little and continues to this day. I'm going to challenge every one of our listeners to get started on a vision board. Um, She gets really detail specific, but you could just start with images of, you know, what she talks about. If you're visual, maybe you want to go to the Olympics, maybe you don't, but whatever it is that you want in your life, put it up there, the Olympic rings, or maybe you want to own a puppy and your parents won't do it. You could put a picture up there of a puppy. You know, it's not just about sports, these tools. It's for manifesting everything in your life. Number seven, playing to win and not playing not to lose. So this is such a great lesson that we all, all have in life. You know, be, stay on the offense. Don't just go to the defense. Don't compare yourself to others. She really um, elaborated on that. And I love that, you know, just learning so many lessons from the losses and, you know, become you always become better 
from them, but being in the moment in those times, that's when you can really decide how to get out of them and what can come from that. But, you know, just really playing to win. You guys, let's play to win. That's a big motto for the day. Yes, let's do it. Okay, number eight, the last one, make your goals public. This is scary, but it really spoke to me. And when she talked about how your tribe kind of comes out of the woodwork and starts supporting you, it's way, it's almost like there's so much power to it that you're missing out on if you don't. And I even remember in my own life when I was little and I started telling people I was going to the Olympics and I was so far off. It's I, I, all the people that supported me and were geeing me up and, it, you know, they came to mind. And that's what will happen when you declare your goals, you make them public, even if they're scary, just be authentic with people. Tell people, like she said, it's scary. I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going for it. The universe conspires to help a decided heart and so do really good people out there. So fun, you guys. We are so happy that you guys have been tuning in. Please continue to share these episodes and, you know, review us. We love you. Um, thanks for being our tribe. And follow Carolyn um, on all of the platforms. She's on everything. She's very actually, she's really intelligent when it comes to promoting herself. So Instagram and Twitter and LinkedIn and YouTube and all the things. But follow her and see what she's up to. She is a wealth of knowledge and we are so excited to continue to follow her in her career. So thanks for tuning in today. 